welcome back to 4th of July imitation card help video. This is chapter 3, editing the file with Adobe InDesign. In this chapter we'll see how we can edit colors and edit text within the template. Uh, so uh, we can do it um, faster and more efficiently than going step by step. My name is Maria, I'm a graphic designer and I'll be your guide throughout this tutorial. So let's get started. First and foremost, let's open up <clears throat> Adobe InDesign. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'll be working in InDesign CS 5.5. Template is optimized for the minimum version of CS4. Uh, if you have older versions, I do not recommend uh, purchasing this template. The newer versions, you won't have any issues following along the tutorial and of course you won't have any issues working with this template. Now, we can uh, open up the template going to File Open or we can simply go to our InDesign folder and here based on the version of the InDesign, if you have the CS4 version, you'll be opening up this IDML which is InDesign mark Markup document or if you have CS 5.5 or the newer versions, you'll be opening up the InDesign document. So let's just drag it directly on in the work area. And here we go. Now, if you have the essentials open, you can see we're on the page one. Here you can see in the layers panel, uh, we have different layers for different elements. So if you want to change certain elements, you can do that through this layers panel and mm, swatches. Let me open up the swatches panel and just drag it here so you can see it better. And here in the swatches panel, basically we have all the colors we've used uh, uh, making this template. Now the great thing about InDesign is that all colors are basically global colors, which means that you don't have to go and pick each and every element in order to change color. Uh, all you have to do, or gradients, uh, all you have to do is double click on the color you wish to change, make sure the preview is um, checked. So let me make this magenta and this is going to be a darker one darker version of magenta and voila we've changed the colors it was super simple we didn't have to go through gradients we didn't have to go and select each and every element so that's a great thing about uh, editing the colors in Adobe InDesign now next thing is editing the text of course text is editable if you have downloaded uh, the free font uh, from uh, the link I give you in the info file, you'll see the text here. Uh, of course, when you change colors uh, through the swatches, the color of the text will change too. Now, um, there is just one warning. If you want to change color separately for some reason, you want to just change the color of the text. Just this here so we can see it. Uh, if we just want to change the color of the text, if you select the text frame and just simply click on the color, let me do this, and click on the color, wow, something happened. Well, what happened was that InDesign basically works and interprets all the elements as frames and then you have something within that frame. So when you just select the frame and click on the color, it's going to uh, color the frame, not the text. So this can get very useful when you're working on other things and you actually want to have frame and text within. But in this case, we just want to change the color of the text. So I select the text frame and then right uh, here beneath the fill and stroke icons, uh, you have this little T. Click on it and now you can change the color of the text. Now whatever you do, that's just going to change the color of the text. And that's it. Now when it comes to editing the text, uh, we can basically do that simply by either selecting the text frame, 
double click on it or select T on your keyboard or select it directly from the tools panel once you get over the text you want to change select what you want to change I'm just going to type here me now as you can see this is all caps uh, text so if I turn it off I'm gonna get this if I don't I'm gonna get this um, here you can also change the font let's see how this is going to look at like. I can change the font style uh, this particular font has only one style so okay here it is I can change the size I can change the kerning and all that different stuff now once you have your template ready save it uh, send it to be printed and that's it very simple so that was it when it comes to um, editing the file in Adobe InDesign if you have any questions um, please don't hesitate to send me an email and I'll try to respond, uh, respond as soon as possible uh, <clears throat> that was it for chapter 3 uh, uh, in the next chapter we'll be talking about editing the template in Adobe Photoshop and I'll see you there Thank you.